Okay, this is Orlando Wilson. And what I want to talk about in this video is something I come across, I've come across quite often, and it's something I find, um, I wouldn't say amusing, I find uh, concerning. And that's people that's done, let's say, tactical training courses, firearms training courses, close protection training courses, and they've been shown techniques, tactics, and even though they can do the technique, they don't know the reason for the technique. They've not been explained the application. It's just been shown a room entry or a specific way of some firearms tactic, etc. And nobody's explained to them what the application is and why they're actually doing it. I'm finishing up a book at the moment about, uh, it's gonna be a, the title is Counterinsurgency, a Tactical Guide for Law Enforcement. And one of the examples I put in there about hostage rescue, we were dealing with a team in Mexico a long time ago. This team, all good guys. And they had training from uh, instructors, law enforcement instructors from a few embassies. As they do, a lot of embassies all get their security people to come over and train different teams, etc. A little bit of promotion for them, etc., etc. Anyway, this team was nearly disbanded because they had an issue. They were called out to a domestic. Um, some guy was holding his wife and his daughter at knife point. And they'd done what they were told. They'd done what they'd been shown before. They made entry through the front door of the house, cleared the house, etc. By the time they got to the back of the house where the man was holding the wife and kid, He'd already killed them and killed himself. And I said to these guys and girls on the team, I said, well, wouldn't it have been easier as soon as you got there to do a 360 CTR, close target reconnaissance of the house, identify where the threat is, and you could have shot him through, through the window if necessary. Like, and they were like, yeah, but we wasn't told that. We were told to clear the rooms this way, and that's what we've done. So this is where there's a lot of people out there that, how I put it, a lot of people take what their instructors are telling them as gospel. This is the way it must be done. This is the way we must do things. But the trouble is what they're being taught is so limited and they don't understand the application of the tactics, when and where the certain tactics are applied. A lot of this comes into the close protection world where people are taught dignitary protection techniques, good example is when um, Arnold Schwarzenegger was assaulted in South Africa. His team there are doing the typical watch your hands, dignitary protection, BS, without the outer cordons of protection. Whereas, yeah, it's okay doing the, the Secret Service watch the hands job, but the Secret Service will have how many outer rings of security. These guys had nothing. So this is where if you're learning techniques, tactics, you need to know why you're learning them and you need to know the application. A lot of people don't. Now, I fired an instructor. I fired quite a few instructors or people that were assisting me to start with because I turn, I take my attention off them for two minutes and all of a sudden they're teaching some funky techniques. I said to a few of these guys, I said to one guy in particular a couple of times, why are you teaching this? Oh, it looks cool. Okay, I don't give a fuck if it looks cool. It's bullshit, why are you teaching it? Yeah, but people just wanna have fun. Students wanna enjoy, they see it on YouTube, so they just wanna copy what they've seen on YouTube. Some influencers doing it. I'm like, okay, fine. Don't do it under my name. Go do it under somebody else's name. And goodbye, you're not working for me anymore. The reason being, if you can't justify that technique, if you don't understand the reasoning behind that technique, there's no point in doing it. A lot of what's on, and this is the issue with a lot of instructors, a lot of instructors these days are teaching what they see on YouTube. They're not teaching what works. They're teaching what tactical influencers are showing on YouTube. Why? Because a lot of these instructors, 
don't have the experience to be able to teach techniques that's relevant in the real world. And again, you know what? I can keep people, who's done my courses, I can keep people busy 24 seven, nonstop. Because there's that many different things we can come up with, that many different things we can do. Um, I find it very strange when people say, oh, we, we've run out of things to do. How the fuck can you run out of things to do? There's that many different techniques, tactics, etc. It's uh, different environments, different scenarios. There's that much. I don't know how you can run out of things to do. But if people don't have the experience, if your instructors don't have the experience, if all they've been taught, if they've done an instructor's course and they've just been told, do this tactic, do this technique, do this technique, they're learning set techniques from other instructors that's learned set techniques from other people. They don't have the experience. So they're learning book techniques. Come and do our instructor's course. You're an instructor. Just do this, do that, and that's it. They don't have the experience to be able to uh, justify what they're doing. The close protection business, tactical business, defensive firearms business. You know what? You need to be teaching well, from the student's point of view, you need to be being taught what's actually going to work. And those people teaching you need to be able to justify every movement. For me, as far as firearms is concerned, we justify every movement. Every movement has to be justified. If the movement is not justified, then, it's a, then there's no point in doing it. Everything has a reason. But... In this wonderful world we live in, in this world of social media tactics, um, there's so much BS out there at the moment. It's, uh, I'm surprised, I'm surprised the vast majority of people get away with it because a lot of what's been taught from the firearms perspective, especially um, firearms, tactics, close protection, a lot of people have been taught BS, a lot of people are giving away good money to be taught YouTube techniques from instructors with no experience. When you're doing a course, and this is one of the, the cons at the moment, even if it's an accredited course, like some of the BS that's coming out of UK, what is the background of your instructors? Have they just ticked the box to be able to be an instructor, or do they actually have the real world experience to be able to teach the courses? I would say the vast majority don't have the experience to teach the courses. And that's why there's so much BS being churned out. But, so, always verify your instructor's experience. If they don't have it, if you need the course to tick a box, do it. Then go train with some people that actually have the experience. Anyway, i got more of these videos up. Follow me along on social media. There's going to be a lot more of these videos going up in the near future. I have an array of books up on Amazon that talk about various aspects of the close protection business, crime fiction, etc. And follow me along on social media. Um, I prefer X or LinkedIn. We're up on Instagram, etc. But um, I'm not too keen on it because it's too, uh, too fickle to put it politely. So in the meantime, be good, stay safe and stay out of trouble.